Martin, and I'm often asked, uh, how can you go to work every day and be a fundraiser? You've got your hand out all day long. You're asking people for money. And uh, I think you all understand my job and why I have a great job and why it's exciting and fun to come to work every day. The idea of working with extraordinary people like you've heard from Patricia and Dick and Dr. Tuvison and Dr. Von Hoff. These are truly extraordinary people. All of you uh, know a lot about sales, I know, and you think about your product all the time, and you want to make sure that you've got a product that matches up with your audience. And I can tell you that when we tell people that, we're, that this program is funding pancreatic cancer research worldwide, uh, I, don't, I, I, I never have anybody say no. This is an extraordinary program. It's, it's extraordinary to be a part of it and to meet these just incredible people. Now, you know, as all of you know from fundraising things you've been a part of, you know that it always comes down to leadership, and we have great leaders. You've heard a lot about Roger and Jeannie Magowitz today. They're part of a committee that we formed a national advisory committee, people from around the country, ranging from president of the Detroit Tigers, Dave Dombrowski, to uh, 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 Roger Magowitz, to Vince McBeth and others who are here today. Uh, that group is chaired by somebody I want to introduce you to who is now a nine-year survivor of pancreatic cancer, the head of general wholesale, or at least the beer division in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Howard Young. We Now, we, we've heard a lot about personal sacrifice today. I want you to know that no one, no one has made a greater personal sacrifice, not even Dr. Tuvison coming all the way from the UK, uh, than, than Howard has, because Howard is a Georgia Bulldog, and he's missing the, the SEC championship game. He actually had to give away his tickets to the SEC championship today. I mean, can you imagine? Now, that's dedication to the cause. Now, you'll, you'll recall that last year I had the distinct pleasure, if you were here last year, you know I had the distinct pleasure of announcing more than $2 million worth of individual gifts uh, to this project. I'm very, very proud on behalf of that committee to report uh, for one, from one committee member who could not be with us today, uh, David Lane. David and his mom and family have uh, committed $1.5 million to this program. And uh, I'll leave it to Roger later to describe to you uh, what, what he thinks they'll, uh, that you all have raised uh, through your weekend here. This year, uh, we, we, in, in terms of extraordinary people, uh, we had the opportunity to work more closely with Mr. Steve Stagner, the CEO who you heard about from Mattress Firm. What was so extraordinary about Steve is once he embraced this cause, he made our cause his cause and the cause of mattress firm, and for that reason, uh, we, I guess we became the national charity of the Mattress Firm Corporation. Uh, for the, and further, for that reason, I think Roger recognized him as the honorary chairman of this year's tournament. Many of you responded the way that you did to the tournament invitation because of Steve's involvement. And so I, I'd like you to join me in recognizing Steve and bringing him up here to say a few words. Thanks, Michael. And uh, I'd first like to thank uh, Dr. Van Hoff and the TGen staff and everyone uh, that is involved uh, with you for your commitment, your leadership, and most importantly, what I've learned over the past year, your passion towards your patients. Uh, you know, I never seem to stop um, getting water in my eyes every time I hear a story um, about uh, the passion that you guys have, and it's, it's amazing. Secondly, um, I would like to thank uh, uh, the Purcells and the O'Neills and the Youngs and all the other patients that have come here uh, and shared their stories because, um, you know, we are uh, your shepherds and we are fighting for you and we're fighting for the people, you know, around the world to try to help uh, cure this disease. Um, third, I'm blown away by this industry and uh, the people in this room. I, I first came here a few years ago uh, and uh, 
met Roger and, and saw an industry of competitors and an industry of uh, vendors and retailers and people, you know, coming together and setting everything aside right here before Christmas with everything going on in our lives and, and putting everything aside and focusing on what is really important in life. And uh, I'm just, I want to give a round of applause to all in the room for that. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank um, a man that has really shown me and taught me the, the true meaning of success over the past couple of years. Um, it started off as, as, a, as a business transaction of, of, of buying a business, and we, we have a history of buying some businesses. And um, throughout that process, you know, I learned a few things about this man and um, where his passion is and a lot about you know this tournament and what uh, Roger Magowitz has done uh, for this world. But on top of you know meeting someone who has turned out to become a great mentor, um, a, a fantastically passionate philanthropist, but also um, a true friend. Roger is just like um, Dr. Van Hoff, he's always there for the tiniest of details, thinking about every single little thing. And I'm sure he's touched everyone in this room in some way. And uh, you're an amazing person, and thank you very much. Ro Roger, uh, you know, it was unexpected to me last year. Uh, when we were here, Steve Fendrick, uh, my business partner, and I uh, were invited to meet uh, Dr. Van Hoff, and, and we go down to a meeting before the day. And um, it was unexpected to us what would happen. It was expected to him, I'm sure. He knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we go in that room, and incidentally, Dr. Van Hoff took a patient call during his presentation and, and uh, stepped out and let Michael take over and, and focused on what's most important, which was his patient, which is always the case. And, but what happened at that moment was magical. What Dr. Van Hoff changed our hearts, but also changed the heart of an organization. You see, our purpose statement is to improve lives one night at a time. But after we met Dr. Van Hoff and saw what was going on here, we recognized that that purpose statement that we had written many years before took on a whole new meaning. And that, as uh, Michael mentioned, you know, we changed the course of, of, um, of our efforts to supporting uh, curing pancreatic cancer. And uh, David, as you mentioned, um, you know, becoming your shepherd and uh, seeing what we can do to help uh, solve that. Um, our goal is, you know, simply to write a small chapter in this book uh, of curing cancer. And I fully believe that, that it can be done. Um, I believe in the effort, and, and there's a couple of reasons why. Um, first of all, the, uh, the effort that is happening with TGen is the real deal. Uh, you know, it is assembled by the best leaders, as they've talked about. Um, but also, there's a lot of lessons that we can learn, not only in our personal lives, but in our business lives, that are happening um, with Dr. Van Hoff and, and the leadership that is happening across the globe. Um, and the lessons are that, first, assemble the best team. And that's what he's doing. It's, it's, not, it's not about yourself and, and uh, your ego, as uh, Jerry Clangelo talked about, the USA winning um, you know, the gold medal. It's not about the egos. Let's assemble the best team, and let's get the best people involved. And that's exactly what you've done. And I've met some of the other doctors, and... Um, this brings me to the second point, which is to collaborate and to share everything. And that's what the, the, the reason why that's so important is they're cutting out bureaucracy. What takes other hospitals 14 months or, or two years to get done, they're getting done in three or four days because they're cutting out all the bureaucracy and they're collaborating and they're sharing. And that is what's going to help us solve this a lot faster. And third, it's focusing on the individual. And it's focusing on that individualized uh, care because, and, that, and you can apply that to everything in life, your business and personally, but it's that focus on the personalization, which is so critical to solving uh, this, you know, incredible problem. 
you know, one in, it, cancer is responsible for, as you, you probably read, one in four deaths in America. And it, as mentioned earlier today, you know, unfortunately, pancreatic cancer is, is, is the nastiest with, you know, over 43,000 people being diagnosed this year and 30,000, 37,000 that will unfortunately die. The sentence is, 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 is horrific. Um, you know, less than 1% live greater than five years. And, uh, and as mentioned earlier as well, by the time you find out, it's usually three or four months. And, uh, and I'm very proud to see the efforts that have happened as in, in Dr. Van Hoff and TGen's efforts where we're essentially doubling and, and tripling and, and in many cases, uh, you know, Howard, you know, nine years, you know, creating those personal opportunities of magic moments and memories because that's, that's magic happening right here, right now, every day. The birthdays, the anniversaries, the sunsets, the, you know, the, the 50th anniversary that we're, we're going to congratulate you on, uh, Mr. O'Neill, you know, because you're going to be there. That is what this is all about. But in the end, we've got to solve it. We've got to cure it. And um, so that like other cancers that have, you know, really like testicular cancer and other cancers that have really become, you know, much less of a problem, you know, we've got to ultimately solve it. And I know that we can. Um, but what are we going to need to do to do that? Well, um, I have a, a mentor in the room, uh, I think Gary Fazio, who, who gave me a quote one day, um, which is uh, a great quote, which is, we need to have a positive sense of discontent. We need to be positive about this because it is about our attitude, but we don't need to be happy about it. And I loved what you said. Um, you know, we need to curse it and we need to have a sense of discontent and we need to attack it. And we need to attack it together as a team and as people. And um, if we do that, we can make a big difference. I think there's three things that I want to leave you with that I really want to challenge everyone in this room to think about. Um, number one, everything counts. Everything counts. It's not always just money. It's your efforts, but everything counts. Every little thing you do. Roger uh, gave a speech a couple nights ago, and uh, you might be surprised to know that every year he gets excited because there's um, a check that he gets in the mail uh, from someone who lost uh, their husband uh, in pancreatic cancer. And every year he runs out to the mailbox to get that check for $25. And that is one of the proudest checks that he gets every year. Um, and, I, and I just cannot overemphasize, no matter where you're at, what you're doing, every single little action counts because we need every action. Number two, I want to challenge everyone to look for opportunities in everything you do. Uh, this year we were um, closing out a, a mattress, uh, a line from a manufacturer, um, and so we partnered with that manufacturer. It was Simmons, actually. And uh, we partnered with that manufacturer. And we said, you know, we're going to get out of these old, you know, this old line and put the new one on there. We need to do it fast. So that's a problem. I, I have a saying, you know, turn problems into profits. So that's a problem. We've got to get out of these very fast. So what, what we did is, with their help, we actually uh, created um, um, uh, an incentive for consumers to buy those beds and uh, make a donation to pancreatic cancer, which led to buying a critical machine for Dr. Van Hoff. And, and so that, that's a great example of, of two companies just, you know, working together. And that's the kind of thinking you got to look at is how can you look for opportunities and work together to, to do things, um, which is my third point, which is to work together. We cannot do this alone. Uh, this, is, this is an effort that's a collective effort. We can't do it alone. Uh, this year, um, you know, so many great people in this world uh, unfortunately lost their lives uh, to pancreatic cancer. Uh, highly notably was also Steve Jobs, who had resources that none of us will probably ever have. Um, and he even went out to his own efforts to map his own DNA. And, you know, he's ahead of his own time in many respects. And um, he couldn't solve it alone. Uh, but we can solve it. We can solve it together if we work together and we put our efforts together. I know that we can solve it. And all the efforts that you did, um, you know, with, with uh, showing up here, and especially thank you, Tempur-Pedic, for 
um, uh, your donation today and, and Protective Ed and Sealy and all the other people that have shown up uh, and put their effort into this is so critical uh, for us to working together because I'm incredibly proud of this industry. What I see here, uh, we've had an incredible year at Mattress Firm this year, as a side note, but I'm, you know, just about three weeks ago we were closing the bell on NASDAQ, but I'll tell you that I'm more proud of what we're doing in, on this stage right here because what's going to be left, people are not going to remember our comp sales increase of 2012 or our profit increase. They're not going to remember any of that. What they're going to remember is the legacy that we leave, um, you know, throughout our lifetimes. They're going to remember that we all collectively were a part of curing pancreatic cancer, and that is what's most important. So. <laughs> So Roger, in my introduction to you, I guess uh, to come back up here, um, I'd like to um, tell you that we are going to, uh, Mattress Firm is going to add uh, $50,000 this year to our donation. So thank you very much. Thank you.